Under this folder, I will create one function. Create a new block. So this time we select a function. And I will manually assign this number to 910. <clears throat> and rename this function to laser sensor inspection. Okay. Language we select a letter logic. I will start from the network tool. So firstly, in this function, we will call this function block. To call this function block, the easier way is we select this function block, drag to this network tool. Drag here, release. At this moment, system wants you to assign one instant DB. And from here, I will manually rename this number the instant db, our function block that is a 1002, I will assign this instant db to 1002, make the same number to that. You do not need to make the same number, so you could uh, assign another name, that doesn't matter. So I will call this db, rename it as a instant db. I will rename this. So this portion, it's the same as a function block. So we can clearly see, oh, this is a, this function block, whatever the number it is. So this DB, that is a one instant DB of this uh, function block. So click OK. So that is uh, the core function block we just uh, create. To connect the input and output, firstly, we can connect some signal come from the camera. For example, the camera busy. To connect the laser sensor, so we can open, float this tag list, open like this way, and this is the camera busy feedback. From this list, if we record the busy signal, so actually in this laser sensor system, it has a couple tags talk about the busy signal. Firstly, if we record the tool. So from this output, for each unit, main unit and the expansion unit, from this output tool, it has a busy signal. Also, in this tag list, we also have this signal, trigger response main unit. Uh, from this DLPN1 manual, if we go to the page 18, so from this timing chart, we can see once our PLC give a trigger control signal, and this control command received by the laser sensor, and after that, the sensor will give a feedback to the PLC. So this feedback, that is a trigger input response. So we can see this. So that means if this trigger response signal is turning on, that means the system is busy, it's responding the trigger signal. So that means our busy signal will come from four parts. One come from the trigger response from main unit, and the trigger response from the expansion unit. Uh, other than this two, we also need to consider the second output. That is uh, the external output number two from the main unit, and the external output two from the expansion unit. So that means we need a one logic before this function block to define the camera busy. So we could do this. From here, we will create a one global data block. And this data block, we could rename db underscore laser. Using this db, we can organize all the tags in this db. So we can rename this name to 1003. Okay, so from this db, we can declare some tags here. For example, system busy. 
right? To use this signal, we can drag this tag to this camera BZ. And to define this busy signal, we can go one step before. So this is the, the busy signal. This busy signal would come from four logic. Trigger response from main, trigger response from expansion unit, and the external output tool from main unit, external output tool from the expansion unit. So we make the logic like this way. This defines a busy. So if none of those signals turn down, that means the system is not busy. So at that moment, the system is totally free. Once we trigger the signal, and one of them will turn down. So that moment, the busy will turn on. In the trigger logic, if you recall, once the busy turn on, the trigger to the output that will drop. Okay, so we name this. This is a uh, the busy Okay. So camera in run mode. In this system, there is a no run mode uh coming back, but however, we have an error mode. So we can define a run mode tag and use a not error mode to define uh, run mode. So we could also use this chance to define other tags here. In run has error, auto mode, manual mode, trigger in auto, trigger in manual, reset, reset, a uh, result ready, result ready, resin age, trigger output, trigger resin age, and the trigger resin age output. Some tags are used for future. Uh, some tags I will show how to use them. So we go back to our function. And from here, so we can connect the reset to this reset tag. And this reset tag can be controlled by our sequence. And the camera in run mode, or we can define the camera in run mode. So we connect this in run mode. And camera result ready, what kind of logic we can define camera result is ready. So if we go back to this timing chart from scan mode, from this chart, we explain the trigger that moment. So when the busy from one to zero, from this moment, the result from the trigger one that is ready. So, go back to our logic. This is the result ready. So how to define this result ready? We go one step before. Some logic control this result ready, right? This is what we call the result ready. If the system is not in busy mode, so we can see the result get it ready. If the camera is not in busy, and this busy, and this busy is this. So we reorganize this sequence. So the busy should be on the top of that. So when the system is not busy, so we say result is ready. But because in the function block, we use the, the rising age. Not busy is that rising age to register the result. So not busy, we use not busy as a result ready. Makes sense. So this judge OK can come from two cameras one from the main, one from the expansion. So this judge OK can come from the external output one main unit and external output one from expansion unit. So this is a global result from each tool.
So output number one, that is a total status. So that is uh, the external output one from main unit and the external one from expansion unit. So use this, we define OK. And how we can define NG? So that means one of part, we got an error, we got a fail. That means that got an NG, right? So that means one of this result gets off. So, so one of this uh, output result get a fail. So that means our camera function result will get a fail. That means this part need to be reject because one side of this part got a reject. So this whole part need to be rejected, right? And left thing is auto mode and manual mode. We can drag this auto mode here and drag the manual mode here. So the trigger auto condition, we can use the trigger in auto. And this trigger in auto tag be controlled by your automatic logic. For example, uh, if your sequence get uh, the step seven or get the step 10, at that step 10, you go to trigger. Or with the step 10, your cylinders need to be at work or at home. And once your cylinders at work, so maybe that moment you go to trigger. So this triggering auto can be controlled by some logic. And next, that is the triggering manual. We can grab this tag here. Okay, so this is the, all the input of this function block. For the output, so we have a pass and a fail register result. So firstly, I can define laser inspection pass laser and the laser inspection fail. A register result, it can be latched in pass and fail. So those signal will turn on until next time we got a new trigger, it will be reset and waiting for the new registered result. So the rising edge out, that is just a one trigger signal. So we can grab this uh, rising edge output or rising edge here. So this is the DB, uh, we are using the DB 1003 here. Okay, so this is the input and the output of this function block. So we also need a couple logic to define this. For example, in run, busy, ready, something like this. If we record the internal logic, if the system in auto mode, once we get a trigger in auto condition turned on, at that moment, once we got the trigger signal, so that moment it will reset, pass or fail, that means we start from the new cycle. At that moment, if the system is not busy, so the trigger signal will turn on. So if the system turn to busy, the trigger signal will turn off. And left thing is uh, we are waiting for the result ready. So once the system is not busy, and the busy signal from on to off, so with that rising edge, waiting for 100 milliseconds, so that moment, we will get a rising edge output. At that moment, we will register the pass or fail. That based on our judgment OK, our judgment fail, this logic. So by different application, maybe this judgment OK or fail come from different results. So that's why I put this logic outside this function block. It's very flexible. Uh, from here, we found we lost one signal, that is the trigger signal to the outside, right? So to fix this problem, we go to the function block. Currently, this trigger command is just a static internal command. So we need to give an output from here. So for example, we give the first one. So that is a trigger command.
So we grab this signal, go to the outside. From this line, it's empty. So we grab this trigger command to outside. So this trigger command will turn on when the system is not busy. Once the system got busy, it will drop. So once we add this output, we shift back to function block. We will see because the internal of this function block got a change, so it shows as a red. So don't worry to update this function block. So we right click and click the update block code. So it will show the different before and after. So we click OK. After this update, you do not need to reassign all those tags. It will automatically just add this new one, trigger command. So we can grab this trigger output here. So which signals is the actual signals to trigger the laser sensor? So if we go to the tag list, the output trigger main unit and trigger expansion unit, that is the actual output we need to control. So under this function block, we can grab this trigger output signal. So this trigger output signal come from the function block will control will control the actual output. One is the trigger signal go to the main unit. One is the trigger signal go to the expansion unit. That is a queue address. So this network that is the, the trigger output. Right, two key information that is uh, how to define the busy of the system and how to define the result ready signal. And other than this, we could define the menu mode and the auto mode. So if we quickly review the whole logic here, we define the system busy, define the ready. This is the function block call. And after the function block, we give the actual channel trigger signal to the laser sensor. So after this, I will use another video to show the online test of this logic. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.